Happy Tuesday, everybody. My name is Old School Nerd, brand new Elaine. Are you ready? You're not, but I'm going to do a reaction to it anyway. This one is called Stand by the Flame. It comes from the new album, We Shall Remain, which comes out July 14th. You can pre-order it now. Are you ready? No? Too bad. Now, Elaine is riding pretty high right now, okay? You got Philip on bass, you got Jesper on drums, you've got Rickard on guitar, and you've got, of course, the amazing Madeline, okay? Lead vocals. Now, the four core there, they also have uh, someone by the name of Victor who helps them out uh, in their live performances, and he's outstanding as well. So you have this group of people that are making amazing music. Now, if you caught them in the North American tour, lucky i did i caught him in houston uh and they stole the show okay musically they're outstanding okay performance it is incredible okay not just musically but the interaction with the crowd the way they bring you in the performance the synergy between madeline and rickard and their quiet tongue-in-cheek hilarious rivalry that they have trying to get the attention of the fans Yes, it's hilariously cool, but even though it's funny to watch him attempt to distract the audience from the countenance that is Madeline, it always backfires on him in the best funny, adorable way. But what it does is it makes it personal. It makes it relatable, and the crowd just loves it. That's Elaine. Now, when I tell you the last album was incredible, it was. And the new album, We Shall Remain, looks so far to be just as powerful, if not a step up. Now, we're gonna to react to this new one called Stand By The Flame. I will have the link in the description for you to pre-order. So you wanna start pre-ordering now? I've already pre-ordered mine last night when I saw they posted it, so I'm there. Now, here's the thing. Just to show you the kind of crazy time they've had, okay? They just wrapped up a North American tour, super excited, okay? And then, just a couple days ago, Tank the Tech did his first reaction to one of their music videos. Now, Tank the Tech knows who they are because he follows Rickard's Twitch stream, which, by the way, Rickard, the, the lead guitarist and growler and harmonic vocalist from Elaine, is on Twitch. Be careful if you go to his stream. Tank's words are, that dude is one of the best metal stream channels in all of in all of Twitch. And that's no joke. He's when he's on Twitch, that's a lot. I dare you. I dare you to go check him out. All right, so let's 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 get into this. Okay. Pre-order the album. We're gonna enjoy this together. This is a visualizer for Stand by the Flame. Um, and again, when I tell you how big this band has gotten in the last uh, couple weeks, a while back, um, on social media, uh, Rickard had mentioned that, I don't know if it was a couple years ago or whenever, uh, him and Madeline and, and I think Jesper were talking and they had said, you know, one day we'll be so big that we'll open up for, for Nightwish. That happened last week. So when I tell you they are just so pumped right now, things that they only dreamed of doing, they did last week. Congratulations, good for all of you, and you earned all of it. All right, let's do it. Stand by the flame. This is heavy, I like this. Right here, if you were seeing Elaine live right now, they, the, the guys would just be, Jesper would just be pounding away, and you'd see Madeline in the middle just Dutch windmilling her hair. Right here. I could see it in my head. Once you see Elaine live, you can always see them. Even though this is a visualizer and I'm watching this visualizer in my head, I'm seeing the live performances because it's really good. Seriously. I'm, a, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me, let's, let's let this go.
okay, first, you know, Philip and Ricker were doing that groove, and then Jesper just comes in with that kick, and it's, dear God. This song shifts gears like four times so far. And every time it shifts, it goes into a heavier form of groove. I mean, they really put forth a really good composition here. You expect the musicianship, but it's a musical composition. The arrangement between Philip and Jesper and how they're layering in the rhythm section and just taking it to different places which then allows, you know, Rickard to just go off. Yeah. I mean, I love, I love this album. I mean, I have the album. I, lo I love this album. I mean, I play it constantly on the record player. But this? Dear Lord, man. Yeah. Pre-order. July 14th. <sighs> really, really. Look, Dart Symphonic is not for everyone, but at least with Elaine, it is. Some people, when they play the Dark Symphonic stuff, it's hard to really get into it because it's so two-dimensional. Like, they sit in their box and they never leave. This band has no problem stepping out. It's their Dark Symphonic metal, but they've got some serious progression chops moving up. And I'm really enjoying it. All right, let's finish it up. We're right to the end, so. All right, there you go. All right, presented by, by Atomic Fire. They've been really, really good to me. Um, I've, I've done the reactions and... Uh, Atomic Fire has been really cool. Um, all right, everybody. So there you go. Um, Elaine, um, the new one, Stand by the Flame. And um, I think, and I'm going to say this one more time. I think my favorite part about this band is when you see them live. From, from Once you've seen them live once, every time you hear their music, you can see that performance in your head. And I'm, I'm like, when I, as I listen to this song, I can see Philip just throwing down Jesper, just monstrous drums record running around like a, like Seth freaking Rollins of Twitch. Um, he is no, seriously. Rickard is the Seth freaking Rollins of metal Twitch. If you don't get the reference, look it up, Google Seth Rollins, and then go to Rickard's Twitch channel and you realize they're actually the same guy, except one's a metal guitar god, and the other one is, is Seth freaking Rollins. I mean, very similar. And of course, the Queen, Madeline. I've, I've still never understood, I still haven't grasped the entire, the, the presence of Madeline. Like, when you meet her, she's super polite, super... There's something demure about her, something refined. When you talk to her, she's very approachable. She's very nice and everything else. When she steps up on the stage, something changes. It's like something something empowers her. She steps up there and there's, just all, there's this presence. And you're like, 
She steps off the stage, sweetest person in the world. I don't know what it is, but she's, it's, it's, it's insane. All right, everybody, that's it for me. Hope everyone has a wonderful Tuesday. Um, I'm on vacation, so no stream tonight, but that's okay. You can go check out Rickard's Twitch channel. It's a hoot. All right, everybody, July 14th, in the description, pre-order link. Get it now. Yep. All right, well, with that, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later. Oh.